Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install Oracle Sun Java 1.7 JDK into Ubuntu 12.04 desktop. Outcomes for this video would be to check with the Java versions on your desktop, download Java 1.7 JDK 32-bit, install 1.7 JDK, make Java the default Java on your desktop, and set up your Firefox web browser to use Java 1.7 and verify that the browser works with Java. Now one outcome that will not be on this video is how to remove older versions of Java, either Open or Sun, but we will make Java 1.7 the default. Requirements, a 32-bit Ubuntu 12.04 desktop and all upgrades installed before you begin. Additional info from Easy Linux Tips, Winsoft Web Design, and WikiHow, Oracle Java and Ubuntu Linux. Before downloading the Sun Java 1.7 JDK, there are some steps we should probably take to make sure that the install goes smoothly. One of them is to open up a terminal window. And since we're going to be downloading a 32-bit uh, Sun Java JDK, we'll make sure we have a 32-bit uh, Ubuntu desktop and the way to do that is you name dash P for processor and it says i686 which is a 32-bit processor if it would set x86 underscore 64 that would be a 64-bit processor uh, another thing we might want to check and see if there we have a Java version already on our machine It says it can be found the following packages. In this case, there is no Java version. You're going to have to make a decision if you have a Java version, whether to uninstall it and uh, try and determine how to uninstall it. Uh, this video does not cover uninstalling it. However, uh, what this video does cover is how to make this the default Java. So if you have more than one version of Java, the uh, Oracle Sun Java will become the default uh, Java throughout this video. The other thing that I want to make sure of is that you've run the update manager and made everything uh, have gotten all your updates. In this case, I'm not going to go through this. You simply go check and install updates. Simply close this. But those are three simple checks you should do before you uh, download uh, the Sun uh, or the Oracle Sun uh, Java JDK. To download Oracle Sun Java, go to the Oracle Sun Java download page, www.oracle.com, TechNet for Java, Java SE, downloads, index.html. And in this case, we're downloading the Java platform, JDK, Java Development Kits, and the latest version, uh, 1.7 U6. Click on Download. Now, since uh, Ubuntu is a Debian, the one that we're going to need is JDK 7U6 Linux i586 tar.gz. All Debian Linux versions are going to get the uh, GZ. And we're, of course, we're going to have to accept a license agreement and then simply click on and download it. And we're going to save the file. Once it's downloaded, we can, of course, make sure that it's in the uh, home folder. And it would be in the downloads directory. And there it is. Next step would be to install uh, this version of Java. In order to install uh, Oracle Sun Java, we're going to have to open up a terminal window. And from here, we'll go to the downloads directory. And we'll do an ls and see the file that we downloaded. Now we're going to have to extract this file. Extract z tz file verbose f. And we'll watch it being extracted. So now let's make a directory to put it in. Of course we're... Uh, I like to put anything that I 
has to maintain in the op directory as opposed to what Ubuntu, the, desk, the operating system, maintains. And we're going to actually use the P for parent. V ver verbose tells us exactly what happened. And opt Java 32 directory. Of course, you have to put in your password. And there it's made. Uh, let's move all these files to that directory. So let's just do an ls just to make sure we get the right file name. And the JDK 1.7.0. And so we'll do a move. Well, it should be JDK, not SDK. Um, and let's go to that directory and, and let's take a look at make sure we've got everything there. CD. And let's do an ls. Okay, the file's there. So let's go to that directory and see, look, start looking around for a Java file. And do another ls. And let's go to the min or binary directory, ls. And here are the three files that we're going to be concerned about. The Java, the Javac, and the or Java compiler, and then the Java's or Java web start. So let's uh, go back and shorten this uh, uh, command line a little bit so that everything will show up a little bit clearer. And first thing we're going to do is let the computer know that we are uh, got Java installed. So here I've got the line uh, installed and there's two dashes on install. So the next thing is to go for the uh, Java C and use the same line. Use, yep. And we'll just use Java here. Use Java here. And Java here. And then hit enter again. And the next thing we're going to do is the Java web start, hit the up arrow, and WS for the web start. WS. And WS. And now that we've informed the computer that we've got Java, Javac, and Java Web Start. Uh, let's make these the uh, default. Uh, so in order to do that, So this line should set Java as a default, set update alternatives dash dash set Java. Let's do the same thing with Java C. And let's do the same thing with Java Web Start. And uh, let's go just check our Java, make sure the version. And so we've got uh, Java SE runtime environment 1.7. And go for our Java C version 
and Java 1.07. So these are the default. If I did the Java WS, it, it would it's asking for another file and you would get an error message. So Java is installed. Uh, 1.7 from uh, Oracle is installed and it's a default. In this section I will demonstrate how to install the Java plugin for the Mozilla Firefox browser. If you have a previous version of Java installed your machine you will have to remove the old plugins and then have your Mozilla Firefox browser use a new Java version. In order to check for old plugins you can go to the Ubuntu Software Center and once you open this you do a search for ice T. Ice T as one word. Now let's make it iced T. One word. And here we have the Ice T Java plugin. And when we click on it, and if you see this install here, let's go back one page. I double clicked. And if you see this install here, then you know it's not installed. If you see a remove where this install is, then you're going to have to click remove and remove it. So let's just uh, go ahead and close this since I, I don't have to worry about removing it. Let's go to the uh, terminal window. And if we have an older version of Ice-T, another way to remove the sudo apt get remove Iced T, whoops, T six six plugin. And you have to supply your password. Uh, it doesn't have it in there, so it nothing is removed. And just to be certain here, we can also do it with a Ice T seven plugin. Ice T is an open uh, source piece of software that uh, works with uh, Java and uh, web browser. So that this is not installed. Now if you want to make sure that there are uh, that a what's called a JNLP handler libjp2.so file is not installed from previous version of Java, you can do a find dash for let's start at the bottom directory and then we're going to look for a name live npjp2.so yeah we should uh let's do a control c uh this should be done with sudo now it's going to try to look around for a while. And if you'll notice that on this one, uh, the only one it finds is one we've already installed in Java, uh, op Java 32. Now, the one that you have to remove, RM Libin PJP2, will only be the ones that are sky blue. They will be in Mozilla, and only the ones that are in the Mozilla plugins directory. If they are someplace else besides the Mozilla plugins directory, don't remove them. So I only have the one right here in this folder and I'm going to copy this because I'm going to set a symbolic link to it. And copy. And here I am in my home directory and I'm going to make a new directory. PV, just verbose and, and uh, parent, is going to be dot Mozilla plugins. So now it's created a directory. So let's go to that directory dot Mozilla. Whoops. It's just and cd plugins run ls there's nothing there if there is something there uh you should probably do a remove on it rm whatever the file name is 
So now let's create a symbolic link so to allow the browser to know that you have Java installed and use the Java plugin. We would use ln sf for force. Uh, you don't have to use the f. It's just there in case there's a previous version. And this is where we use what we copied before. Paste. And then tilde for your home directory dot Mozilla plugins and this should create a symbolic link uh, to let the Firefox web browser know that you have Java uh, installed. So let's go to our Java web browser and we'll check and see if it's installed and we'll go about and plugins and there it is. Enable plugins. And in order to check it, uh, let's go to the App Inventor website and do a search for App Inventor setup. And we're just going to do the App Inventor setup, App Inventor for Android. And, and it's got two things here Java test page, and then another link that will take you to a page that checks to make sure your Java web start works. So we'll go to the Java test page, click on it, and you'll notice that in this case it crashed. Now I'm not sure exactly what the problem is here, but I do know that it crashes uh, unless uh, Mozilla has been running for about five minutes or so, so I think it's got some kind of uh, extreme lazy loading. There may be some other problem. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the problem is, but don't worry about it right now. We're going to take care of that. So let's go to restart. We're going to run the App Inventor Java test. Click on this link. We're going to try and launch a program from the web. And we click on launch. And it says open with. And we're going to have to change this default. And we'll click on other. And go back to the file system and back to your opt. Java 32 JDK. And this is where your Java web start. Java WS file is. And click open. And if you've got this right, do this automatically from now on. You may want to test this out and make sure but you can always set it from the edit preferences menu if you need to and here we have a little notepad editor uh, java jnlp files are working so we'll just simply close this uh, and clear the list close this go back to the previous page now we'll check the Java test page again and, and it says your Java is working latest Java is installed now I've like I say it, it takes about five or ten minutes for um, the web browser to work and uh, and for this test to work or five or ten minutes of, of the uh, Firefox web browser to be running and then I don't have any problem with this working when I start start it up, it doesn't seem it seems to crash with it. I don't know where to, what the situation is here. Hopefully you have Oracle Sun Java installed. The hardest part is configuring the web browser for each user. Unfortunately, there may be other issues with the browser that I have not covered. Thank you.